Okay, hello. <clears throat> I clear my throat when I start the videos. It's a nervous habit. Excuse me for that. This, uh, a few people have asked me to um, create kind of an a, a, a to Z. I don't want to call it an online class online course but an a to z set of videos on or lessons on a, a building a project finance model and in particular a solar model i started doing this before that's in this uh, uh, page now this time i said okay my you know i've got comments that my website really sucks and I agree I redid this project finance exercises section of the website and I tried to rearrange it and discussed how well you know I, I want to have a few separate sets of videos I don't want to call them an online class I think you, if you want to learn something, I'm not trying to sell my classes, but and people have come lately have said, oh my God, it's it's a lot better coming to a class than trying to watch a bunch of videos. Now, I put the first kind of set that I did a long time ago into this building a project finance model and kind of goes through the basic dates and inputs and all of that and then it you know has the associated files just down here and now on this one i haven't put the links of the videos in yet but i've got we're going to go through an overview and then we're going to go through the inputs and the assumptions and computing the capacity and the generation the physical stuff and then degradation it's a difficult issue because we've got a portfolio of projects and then we're going to go through some scenario analysis, basic ones and capex, revenues, working capital, and then a whole bunch of financing. Okay. This will all be updated as um, finishing the videos. Okay. And then all the videos are in this file called rooftop solar course. Okay, and in this file, I'm going to open the file now. Now, you know, there's something called Donald Trump University. And that guy ripped the hell out of people. You know, he made you come to a class because, ah, I'm going to make you some kind of expert, charges you $15,000, and then they just try to sell more classes. And I hate when that happens. And that happens to a lot of these things. I'm just trying to... I don't know why I do it for nothing. So you can't accuse me of being like that. Okay, now here are some of the things I'm going to go through in this exercise. This exercise is not super advanced with functions. and Well, it has some functions. Excuse me for that. And it has some difficult things. No question about that, but some of this, just just to digress just for a minute, the next set of videos is this kind of sculpting stuff that really involves some painful uh, uh, resolution of circular references, DSRA accounts, out the wazoo, uh, uh, interest, income, LC fees, those are hard ones. This one is meant to be, okay, you're kind of an intermediate, even if you're starting, it's fine. Go through the whole structure of a model, and it's kind of boring in, in, a, in, in a lot of places, okay? And uh, so what we're going to, here, here are some of the key points to this. That in the next, there's going to be a bunch of videos, probably 10, 15 videos or something like that. You know, understand the assumptions, just how to make the colors and all that. Use a either a, a very creative little way to use a sum if instead of a this match and index or an offset function to figure out when you're 
putting a portfolio of different rooftop solar solar panels on people's roof okay at different times and then you got to put them all together and then you got to construct them for a period of months and then you got to retire on them because they die like all of us and then we have some you know the one of the key things is to start with production you do not start with any money stuff you start with how much electricity you're going to get from these solar rooftops and then like me things degrade they get worse with age you know blah 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 but that's going to be a real pain because if you've got one solar panel that's brand new and another one that's 20 years old that 20 year old one had a lot more degradation than the the, the current one you can't just add them together you got to keep track of the age and they're about four or three at least three different ways to do that one of this is this some product uh, uh, trick that somebody in a class years ago taught me and i for, kind of forgot and it was a good little trick but it's messy and there's a way to do this with a function so there'll be a few videos on a function to deal with all the the vintage kind of stuff then i in, in purposely in this video i made them the whole model a monthly model but sometimes maybe the accounts receivable they go for two or three months okay maybe this is this happens to be a, a, a application where uh, they we got some we had some decent subsidies for some low-income people and maybe they don't pay so what okay but we're gonna have to put some bad debts in and assume some different kind of accounts receivable that last longer than a month and it creates a little bit of a, a difficulty and then when we work through the depreciation i'm saying we i'm gonna do it you're gonna sit there if you watch this if you don't then don't the depreciation there has to be a differentiation when you're putting a model together of the capital expenditures versus the plant you actually place in service and in the intervening period you call that construction work in progress cwip something i worked on ages and ages ago in the 1970s when disco was popular i shouldn't admit that and then we work through all the financials and the financials are going to be really a little bit tricky because you got have some cash coming out for new new installations some coming in from existing installation some debt being repaid some debt being issued how do you put all that together it's almost more like a, 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 a corporate model than a project finance model and I'm going to do that with all equity first to get the balance sheet to balance another suggestion somebody from some company like Deloitte told me about in one of my classes it was an excellent suggestion get the balance sheet balanced with all equity first then we're going to enter debt in our uh, our, our financial analysis later and then finally constructing and figuring out the cash balances and how much cash you need before it's all drained out you don't want to have negative cash that's for sure we want to issue some debt and that's tricky when you've got all this portfolio stuff coming in and then allocating the interest during construction when you've got some plants being built and some existing is another tricky issue so i think there are enough tricky issues to make this kind of an intermediate uh, kind of a class and then we were i'm gonna for each page now i, I put some assumptions in here well, duh, I, of course i put assumptions that you know the how we set up the assumptions you know is a is, is kind of a key issue and is particularly in project finance models this is a kind of mixture now the whole model is in this consolidated uh, monthly analysis and it goes all the way down for starting with just beginning the number of installations on people's rooftops for different kinds of sizes of projects all the way down to how much debt is being repaid and how much cash balance you have and the whole idea excuse me for going page by page here is eventually then we'll have a oh where's my little spinner box here we go you know we'll have different cases and 
see what happens in the different cases now I think I my calculation button is not uh, on automatic so it's not uh, doing it okay and I this happens to be a slow model maybe I should have done that damn okay so here's the base case here's how much debt we had to issue and here's how it gets repaid repay repaid and now we'll make the low case and it's embarrassing to say that I had to turn off the video for a minute because I've got a lot of you'll see there are a lot of functions in here but then in the low case we have a much longer debt repayment that's what you want to show and you want to show what happens to the IRRs and all that in all the different cases that's kind of the end to get there this is all in this detailed month by month model and and the month by month model has a number of these vintage functions that you'll hear about later now for each of these different pages i mean for each of these different sections essentially there's going to be a different video and for each of these different videos i'm sorry there's a little background noise the 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 we're going to, I'm going to try to mention some of the key things and some of the tricky little things. I can use the sum if function or the match and index to figure out when the installations go in. And then we want to delay that once the installations go in, you have to construct them. So you have to push it forward based on the construction period and all of that. And then we'll go through all the production. And I said, well, okay, we're going to use the lookup function to put our month-by-month -month pattern of the sunlight doesn't, unless you're on the equator, the sunlight is a little different in each period. So we'd have monthly, uh, different monthly cash flows and all that. We'll compute the capacity factor. And then there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff on degradation because... It's not because degradation is an enormous issue. It's because the degradation, and we'll kind of put, have to compute it here on a period by period basis over this. This thing goes uh, 350 periods, you know. Okay, and then I'm going to show you different ways to kind of transpose things and then use an array function. That's what's slowing the model down a little bit. Then once we have all of our amounts of energy and amounts of capacity then we got to put some money associated with him oh no somebody's calling me what the hell is what's going on just a minute okay. hello hi how are you doing okay i think i left the video on the uh, one had that phone call or something I don't know what happened um, so then we'll discuss some you, you know you know revenue issues and in particular the the, the issues are really going to be around some of the bad debt issues and inflation issues and in the bad debt in, in the in the accounts receivable this is kind of this very very painful thing about moving forward some operating expense issues, some pre-tax cash flow, and then the biggest exercise really is on, on all this financing, which I put all together, and there'll be a number of kind of minimum and maximum functions issues and all that. So if you can work through all of these, that you'd be pretty good, I think. And then finally put an annual uh, model together and some scenario exercises okay and that's the introduction to a whole bunch of uh, different videos here okay bye